Yeah, and then for defense. <laughs> the, the defense is Down here at the back of the warehouse, there's no cameras. Stuff is peeling, but this is like a rubberized paint uh, for waterproofing the wall. I'm really excited about today. It's the first time I've managed to catch up with my friend Ara for a long time, and I get to play test my game Mirrors of Talan with him. But as as usual, this front room is a terrible mess. All that foam that I brought from the back of the warehouse up into this front room so I could dismantle and move all the shelves out into the driveway, there's just clutter everywhere. But I'll clean all of that up and get a table out so when Ara rocks up this morning, we can play game. Hello. I'm really excited to be catching up with Ara today. I haven't seen him for ages. Uh, you know, the lockdowns here in, in Melbourne have been tough. You know, obviously that's going without saying, but things are hopefully looking better. And being able to have Ara in the studio today to not just catch up, but play test <laughs> Mirrors of Tulan, uh, the game that, uh, you know, I've been working on and off. Uh, on <laughs> and off again uh, for quite some time. I really love these figures that Anton from Flytrap Factory sculpted for me in 2018, I think. Um, they've got that proper old school sort of style to them, which is what I really wanted to see. Uh, single piece metal figures, you know, I love them. I've mentioned too many times before on YouTube and Facebook and uh, whatnot about relaunching the Kickstarter to fund the production molds for the Stranger Figures. So I'm not even going to bother right now. I am really excited though, as I was saying, to have Ara back in the studio so we can keep going over the rules together. Well, see, this was put together after we played some games, right? So you're like, I know how movement works, I know how combat works, how the fuck does all this other shit work? <laughs> Alright, so we'll move that guy up there. I do have to say, I'm very intrigued about using these CCTV cameras for bat reps. These aren't even filming on the highest quality that they can. Obviously, there's some things to tweak, but it could work. I think if both players were mic'd up and you had, you know, maybe six cameras set up at uh, different angles and some quite close, obviously some further away to be able to capture this sort of view, uh, I think it really could work. Very keen to try it. In the meantime, it's been great to catch up with Ara, play some Mirrors of Tulan, just, you know, have a chat and, you know, catch up for the first time in ages. It was so good. Can you see me moving around there? Top middle of the screen. I'm in the packing room. I'm packing up uh, orders, weighing things. This is my processing area for uh, packing and sending orders. But the camera that's in the main hall can see me moving through that doorway and creates hundreds and hundreds of clips every day. So I figured out I can block that area out from this camera, which means I'm not gonna have to look through hundreds and hundreds of clips to try and find interesting things to put into the episodes. You know, blocking that area out is gonna significantly reduce how many clips have been recorded. So, you know, I'm slowly figuring out these CCTV cameras and how I can use them, uh, what's the best workflow for me, how do I manage the files, uh, and I'm pretty excited. You know, the quality is great and, you know, I'm looking forward to putting more of them in. Getting on with things, I'm super tired today. I was here at the studio until 4.30 this morning and then up to get Charlotte ready for school and, and then into the studio and I've been just been totally frazzled the whole day. I wanted to get another one of these uh, cameras installed, you know, the security cameras, the CCTV cameras. Oh, it's another terribly hot day, so now I've got to be crawling around in the lofts and stuff to get cables. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> 
check out this box of high quality Cat6 cable made for me. <laughs> Down here at the back of the warehouse, there's no cameras. And while I go ahead and do things like moving this bench here and painting the walls and you know cleaning things up it'd be nice to have a, a camera down here that's just capturing some footage that <laughs> that maybe one day I'll, one day I'll actually do something with I think instead of Jeez, it must be 50 degrees up here. Instead of moving all these boxes, I'm just gonna chuck the cable behind it. And then when I come back to fasten the cable in place, then we'll do that. It's fucking too hot up here and I haven't had enough sleep. I had to go get some water. <laughs> Was that English? I had to go get some water. There's a small gap here slowly filling up with cables there's other cat 5 cables here that go all the way down to the eave and then along the side of the building but you know be damned if i'm climbing down there we just try and shove this through this hole and then drag it down to the other side there's still so many left to go but i don't think i'll set them all up i just want a few so that when I'm going through all of the Renaults, look how steep these stairs are. But there's that cable coming through. I've already pulled it through. Got a little bit more slack on it now. So we can pull that through. Dashed orange, orange, dashed green, solid blue, dashed blue, solid green, dashed brown, solid brown. I haven't done any cabling for years, 15 years, I think at least. Uh, but it's nice to get this done. It's super rough. It's a very temporary job. Uh, this has all been zip tied in place. Uh, a lot of the walls and the whole place is gonna change once I start doing the renos uh, throughout the year. So I'm not too fussed that, uh, you know, it's messy, it's dirty, but uh, it's gonna do the job. And being able to have access to all that footage and you know this, the stuff that just happens in the warehouse, uh, you know, it, it's, it's gonna be nice to have. It's gonna be good. All right, so we should see another camera has popped up here. There it is, the one at the back. Beautiful. Another brutal day here in the studio. It's only 33 degrees today. Um, beginning of summer though, it's gonna get filthy in here. Anyway, cleaned off the bench, moved everything out of the way. I'm pretty sure, I keep on going through different ideas about how I wanna set the studio up, studio up, but I'm pretty sure the lasers are gonna go along this wall and along that wall there. The first thing I need to do is a, move this bench, which I've done, I'm, you know, just piled everything up on a separate table. Clean up this wall. It's got this waterproof type surface on it. And, uh, you know, I want to peel all that off and paint it. If the diamond checker plate uh, sort of splashback that was uh, on this wall, if it had been screwed on, I would have just unscrewed it, patched the holes and repainted this wall. But because it had been glued on, when I pulled it off, when I peeled it off, it brought a whole bunch of that uh, waterproof paint with it. So I'm going to have to clean the whole wall to get it back so I can paint it. I need to get the fan going on down here. Damn warm. I'm gonna paint this wall orange. I love orange. I think a nice big splash of orange color on this wall, you know, with the lasers in front of it would look amazing. When I do the conduit for the electricity and the compressed air, I'm gonna do those out of black pipe or spray paint the conduit black. So you get this nice contrasting black lines straight down the orange wall to the machines. It's screwed in and siliconed at the top and siliconed at the bottom. It's coming off relatively easily. There are some areas where it is sticking. I'll switch to using a 
razor. And I've had some success. Then we gotta fill all these holes. I don't know why it's got so many holes in it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so <laughs> I'm just gonna put some of this um, multi-purpose filler on the holes and we'll see how we go. It's not amazing stuff, this. I use it on the terrain for bases and all that sort of stuff. This one pre-mixed. You gotta use it quick, otherwise it dries out, but you know. We just squish a little bit into all these holes and you know, and be done with it, really. <laughs> Lightning streak in the sky and crazy weather. It's beautiful right now. Lovely, lovely breeze. I wonder if you can hear that. Amazing. I've really had the best week. It's been so good. I got to play Mirrors of Tulan with Ara on Monday. Him and I have done a bunch of playtesting together and you know we know the rules. He is really the only other person that I've played the game with. And uh, today I got to play with my brother Aki. Some brand new, fresh eyes. So throwing something at him that was completely new and completely different, uh, you know, was really, really valuable. He had some really, really good feedback. Um, it was amazing. It was a, it was such an awesome day and, uh, you know, an amazing game. It was great. I'm really so happy that this week has been, you know, <laughs> amazing. I'm really excited, so excited about the changes at the studio. You know, I've been in that building for eight years now and some parts of it I've never even cleaned. So section by section, I'm looking forward to, you know, revamping it and just giving the studio a little bit of, uh, you know, love. Um, and I can't do it without your support. And you know, I've had so much of it over, over the last six years here at Knights of Dice. So thank you uh, very much. You know, your support, uh, you know, let, lets me do this full time. Listen. That's the extractor. It's Wednesday, I took yesterday off. Like I mentioned before, I've been super, super exhausted. Friday, end of the week, could be a short day. Charlotte's last day at school. I'm not 100% sure who's supposed to be picking her up. 